Good evening. Captain Matt Edwards retired here with another short video. Going to do this one on the taxation of the service income support insurance plan. In 2015, CRA, Canada Revenue Agency, announced that they would start requiring employers and insurers to deduct income taxes at source. Well, if that's the case, why did the CISIP settlement from 2012 have Canada take off the uh, taxes at source because they didn't uh, require it until 2015. In 1979, IT428, I do believe, uh, information bulletin, income tax bulletin or some interpretation bulletin that CRA has, they said that uh, no tax withholdings at source are required for long-term disability insurance. That kind of makes sense when you think about the fact that only 25% of long-term disability is taxed. Now that kind of goes against the uh, grain. You might think that you know most long-term disability insurances are taxed, but only 25% are. So CISIP long-term disability is taxed despite the fact that 75% of other long-term disability are not taxed. Now, think about it in this terms. Soldier goes off to defend Canada, putting life and limb at risk. He becomes disabled, and part of the people that are behind him that he's protecting are the disabled people getting tax-free benefits. Now that, frankly, is disgusting. I think we need to make a big issue of this. A soldier, disabled, serving Canada and other disabled people has to pay taxes. So his service and injury is not enough. Canada also has to extract the toll in the form of taxes that they don't take from everybody else. This needs to change.